welcome back students we will continue further so we were dealing with the topic a policy of tolerance so how you saw that how maharaj tolerated the islamic people in his kingdom yet they were uh, you know uh, struggling against the enemies from the islamic powers fine let us see the second paragraph on page number 34 maharaj followed a tolerant religious policy yes he followed a tolerant religious policy in the enemy territories that he conquered he continued the facilities that had been given to the muslim places of worship even if he has conquered the enemy territories okay that were uh, belonging to the islamic powers he still continued the facilities of the muslim places of worship he didn't uh, you know implemented his hindu policy over there he continued with the muslim policy and uh, also all the places of the muslim uh, worship had been given all the facilities his contemporary historian kafi uh, khan writes about the tolerant religious policy of maharaj there was a contemporary uh, contemporary historian what do you mean by contemporary historian means a person who was living or occurring at the same time when this incident was happening okay that incident was happening he was there he was the witness of that uh, you know incident so he himself has witnessed that incident and has written in the history so that why he is called as contemporary historian his name was khafifan and he wrote about the tolerant religious policy of maharaj shivaji had framed strict rules for his soldiers that during the campaign they should not harm a mosque he had you know written strictly in that policy and he has framed strict rules uh, for his soldiers uh, that during the campaign that is during the battles they should not harm a mosque which is the religious place worship place of islamic powers yes or of islamic community if they came in possession of a copy of the holy quran they should hand over the same with reverence to a muslim and even if in the battle okay in the campaign while fighting they came in if they come in possession of a copy of the holy quran that is the bible book of the islamics yes or no holy quran so if they find such holy quran a copy of book of this book then they should hand over the same with reverence that is with deep respect to a muslim okay they should not you know uh, do any type of illegal action against that quran or uh, they should not destroy or harm the mosque which is the worship place of muslim so this way this way this shows that shivaji had a great religious tolerance okay next the inspiration for freedom the efforts that maharaj made to establish the swaraj have a special value now shivaji maharaj had taken great efforts to establish the swaraj which really have a special value it is the value of freedom what was the value of swaraj it was value of freedom we should get freedom okay that was the main objective he aimed at establishing and maintaining an independent and sovereign existence that did not accept the dominance of any other power yes we have already done this what was the main aim what was the objective of establishing and uh, maintaining swaraj so that we can create an independent and sovereign uh, you know kingdom or king, a place a country so that nobody can rule over us we will have our own power nobody will dominate us right that was the objective while struggling against the foreign powers maharaj inspired others too so while in his struggle against the foreign powers he was inspiring the people around him for the freedom when chhatrasal who was in the service of the mughals came to see maharaj maharaj inspired him to create an independent kingdom in bundelkhand so also he inspired the other king, uh, other uh, people like chhatrasal he was also in the service of the mughals 
ओके ही वॉज इन द सर्विस ऑफ अवर एनिमी दैट इज मुगल्स बट ही महाराज इंस्पायर्ड हिम ऑल्सो टू क्रिएट एन इंडिपेंडेंट किंगडम ओके हीज ओन किंगडम इन बुंडेल खान दैट मीन्स वाइल एस्टेब्लिशिंग स्वराज महाराज ऑल्सो इंस्पायर द अदर पीपल्स इन दर इन द अदर एरियाज फाइन नेक्स्ट ग्रेटनेस ऑफ महाराज वर्क महाराज इस्टैब्लिश स्वराज वाइल फाइटिंग greatness of maharaj works maharaj established swaraj while fighting against many enemies excuse me <laughs> this action itself proves that he was a pioneer of a new era so now see uh, this parallel is going to explain us how maharaj was great in his work okay uh, while he was establishing swaraj and he was fighting with his against his many enemies is action whatever action he has done up till now we have studied in this lesson yes or no uh, supporting his soldiers not uh, causing any harm to the enemies due to their caste or community or caring for their families and so many things we have read in this lesson so this action itself proves that he was a great ruler of the new era okay but besides this action many other noble qualities are found in his personality so besides this action there are many 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 noble qualities which are found in his personality let us see maharaj was very intelligent he had mastered many arts yes or no he was good in many arts he has mastered himself he was excellent in many arts he has conversant with many languages and script he has studied he could converse he could communicate with many languages using many languages and uh, he can also write many scripts the teachings of his parents towards the establishment of swaraj and ethics were deeply instilled in his mind whatever teachings his parents has given him for the establishment of swaraj and whatever ethics are there whatever values moral values were deeply instilled in his mind there was a blend of character and strength nobility and valor in his personality there was a blend there was a mixture of character and strength means he was a good character and a strengthful person a noble and a valor means courageous in his personality noble means humble okay he had innumerable qualities like leadership management foresight political diplomacy effective policy about regional and military administration commitment to truth and justice attitude of equality visualization of future activities the skill of seeing his planned ventures through rising over the calamities without giving up alertness vigilance and so on so see he the, the innumerable list is given how many qualities he had he was a good leader he was a good manager he had the foresight means he used to think of the future and plan it in advance he was a political diplomacy yes very diplomatically he handled the political situation then he made effective policy about the regional and military administration yes we have learned in the le previous lesson also that how he was great in his administration planning so he planned everything in a systematic and disciplined manner for the region uh, where he was ruling and also for the military sector then he was committed to truth he was practicing the value of truth and he was committed whatever he decided he truthfully uh, you know uh, with his truth and justice he never uh, tolerated unfair decisions and unfair actions he has the attitude of equality he thought that everyone should be treated equally he had visualization of future activities yes or no he visualized whatever in the future activities can happen then he had the skill of seeing his planned ventures through the uh, he had all his skill of seeing that whatever his ventures whatever his subjects are planned they are planned thoroughly 
that ri rising over the calamities without giving up whatever calamities are happening okay uh, even if the war is breaking up or if any natural cal calamities floods earthquake whatever is coming in his way he did not give up he with all his courage he uh, you know rising up with all uh, uh, against all these calamities and then he was a very alert uh, that means always alert about the things about the activities happening and he had alertness and vigilance and so on so this was all his uh, list of you know qualities which our shivaji maharaj had and that's why you can understand he is an ideal rural yes or no so we will continue further in our next session so bye for now take care have a nice day